I'd like to call this village board meeting of February 21st, 2019 to order. Would the clerk please take the roll? President Jackson. Here. Trustee Schmidt. Here. Trustee Sullivan. Excused. Trustee Light. Here. Trustee Maritato. Here. Trustee Pojak. Here. Trustee Schroeder. Here. Would you all please rise and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Trustee Schmidt, would you like to start us off, please? I would love to, Mayor. Thank you. Join us Saturday, March 2nd at the Center for Senior Citizens from 10 a.m. to noon for coffee with the Mayor and the Village Board. If you're unable to attend and have any comments, suggestions, or questions for the Mayor or Village Board, please call the Mayor's office anytime at 630-909-5303. Register today for the mother and son dance. Moms, put on your dancing shoes, and boys, come show off your best dance moves as we have, as we have a night in Paris. Enjoy an activity-filled evening complete with dinner and dessert. The dance is this Saturday, February 23rd, from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at the Center for Senior Citizens. The registration fee is $55 for residents, $65 for non-residents, and $26 for each additional son. For more information, please contact the Sports Hub at 630-260-6060. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Trustee Light. <clears throat> oh, sorry. That was oh, okay. The police department would like to remind residents of the parking regulations within the village during snowfall. There is no parking allowed on village streets designated as snow routes for 24 hours after one inch or more of snow. There is no parking allowed on any village street for 24 hours after a snowfall of two inches or more. And there is no parking allowed on any village streets for 72 hours after a snowfall of five inches or more. If you have any questions regarding winter parking restrictions, please contact the Glendale Heights Police Department's non-emergency number at 630-260-6070. As a reminder to residents, please do not shovel, snow blow, or plow any snow onto village streets. This will help ensure our streets are clean and clear of any snow for safe driving. If you have any questions, please call the police department's non-emergency number at 630-260-6070. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mike. Clerk Schmidt. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. Are you thinking about spring projects at home? Before you start, be sure to contact the Community Development Department. Many projects require a permit, including things like new decks, sheds, patios, siding, roofing, and more. Call the Community Development Department to find out if your spring project requires a permit at 630-260-6030. Thank you, Marie. Trustee Meritato. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. Stop by Glendale Lakes Golf Club on Friday, March 8th, and, and Friday, April 19th, for a meal you'll never forget. The Glendale Lakes Golf Club will be, fish, will be featuring the fish fry for two nights only from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Try some great food at a great price. Enjoy all-you-can-eat fish fry, soup, and a salad bar, or order appetizers and other items off our new menu. Call 630-260-0095 to make a reservation today. Registration opens March 1st 
for the annual Glendale Lakes Golf Club Spring Fling. This year's event will be Saturday, April 13th, and Sunday, April 14th. This four-person scramble is limited to 36 teams per day. The cost of playing the event is $340 per team. Golfers will receive 18 holes of golf with a cart, breakfast, lunch, dinner, drink ticket, raffle tickets, and a tea prize. For more information, please contact Glendale Lakes Golf Club at 630-260-0018. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Trustee Pojak. Thank you. You're welcome. Daylight saving time begins on Sunday, March 10th at 2 a.m. Please remember to turn your clocks forward one hour. Also during this time, please remember to change your batteries in all of your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors when you change your clocks. The Village of Glendale Heights is now hiring for a number of seasonal positions at Glendale Lakes Golf Club, GH20 Aquatic Center, Public Works, and the Parks, Recreation, and Facilities Department. Positions range from laborers, lifeguards, youth program counselors, and many, many more. Gain valuable experience and make friends that will last a lifetime working for the village at Glendale Heights. For more information, please visit www.glendaleheights.org or contact Human Resources at 630-909-5357. Thank you. Thank you, Chester. Trustee Schroeder. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. On Thursdays through April the 11th, the Center for Senior Citizens is partnering with ARP to host the ARP Tax Aid Program. Now, this free service can answer most of your tax questions and help you file your 2018 taxes. The ARP Tax Aid is the nation's largest run tax assistance and preparation service. Appointments will be held on Thursday between 9 a.m. and noon. So please call for an appointment at 630-260-6050 and schedule your appointment. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mary. And now we go to public discussion of agenda items if there's anyone in the public that wishes to address this board on an agenda item please step forward being none you have the consent agenda before you trustee schmidt i move that we adopt the consent agenda as presented second roll call vote trustee schmidt yes trustee light yes Trustee Meritado? Yes. Trustee Pojack? Yes. Trustee Schroeder? Yes. The consent agenda is approved. New business. Number one, an ordinance to approve and authorize the execution of a third amendment to the services agreement by and between Prescient Development Incorporated, DBA, Prescient Solutions in the Village of Glendale Heights. This is first reading. And now we're back to public discussion of agenda items. <coughs> if there's anyone in the public that wishes to address this board on an agenda item, please step forward. Being none, and we have no executive session, correct? Correct. Um, a motion to adjourn would be in order. Trustee Meritado. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, this meeting is adjourned, and Chester, I believe you have Committee of the Whole. Correct. I'd like to call this Committee of the Whole meeting for February 21st, 2019. To order. Is there any additions or deletions? None. Anybody from the co public want to make a comment? No comments? Good. Uh, committee recommendations. Number one, Plant Commission. A recommendation to approve an application for a conditional use 
in the I Light Industrial District to permit outdoor storage of two total tanks, one 1,000 liter argon tank and one 230,000 liter CO2 tank located at 601 Regency Drive, Unit A, Ferguson Fire and Fabrication, Inc. Joanne, I believe this is for you. Yes, sir. Uh, Ferguson has requested a conditional use amendment so they can store a tank outside on the side of their building. The Plan Commission recommended approval. Okay. Uh, Trustee Schmidt. I noticed that they're talking about filling the tanks. Uh, I'm assuming that would be during the day because they're located fairly close to the apartments there. Yes, um, actually the, the tank is on the, the side um, where there's parking, but it would be during the day. Okay. It would not be at night. We need a motion first. Oh. oh. Make a motion then to stop. Move Send it to the board. Move it to the board with a recommendation to concur. concur. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Wait a minute, he wasn't now done talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Now discussion. I had just one question, Joanne. I, in reference to the the tank itself and filling, um, do they are they um, does it MIG welding or is it TIG welding? Do we know the specifics? Because that'll make a difference on how many times that tank will be filled. And I do not know. I believe the applicant is here, and hopefully he can answer that question. So. Come on down. You're the next one. <laughs> will you state your name and address, please? Hi, Ryan Kell, uh, 20 South Austin Boulevard, Unit 1, Oak Park, Illinois. Thank you. So, okay. your uh, question about what we do? Yes. Uh, the, okay. Well, uh, name of the company is Ferguson Fire and Fabrication. We sell to fire sprinkler contractors who install fire sprinkler systems. So, we do MIG weld um, on the sprinkler pipe. Okay. So, it's mostly MIG. So, it's, it's, it's not like a, a, an argon-filled tube that you're using a lot of gas then that you have to for TIGGIN and anything like that? No, it's just a little bit for, I mean, shielding gas. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Okay, that's all. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I got a, I had a couple of questions. Is, is this going to be in the cage? Yes, it'll be, uh, I've got a picture if you guys want that I brought with me, but it's uh, similar to the cage we have fr up front that we use for the propane uh, tanks that we have. It'll have a fencing, which will have the slats in it. It'll have a protective barrier around it. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? No. Nope. Time to vote. We already did. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, that's, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes, you were. All right, number two, plan commission. A recommendation to approve an application for a conditional use in a C2 community commercial district to permit a restaurant with outdoor dining to serve alcohol for consumption on the premises located at 2105 Bloomingdale Road, and that's Little Jimmy's Bar and Grill. Pat. Make a motion to move it to the board for approval. Second. All in favor? No, Aye. it's good. Oh, discussion. Discussion. Getting ahead of myself. Mike. Mike. Um, I noticed during Planning Commission that there was no fencing going to be around the outdoor patio of this facility. I would like to see some sort of a barrier to keep people from wandering in, out, alcohol staying within, something that would designate their area instead of just a public sidewalk. I mean, most of our, our outside patios have such a, a creature you know or not a creature but a, uh, a barrier there just to, to to break it up some and I would like to see something like that put in place uh, the applicant is here and um, that would you do you want to is it okay if the applicant comes up and we can do it's have just a Definitely. meeting we'd like to hear from them okay. please state your name and address please my name is Jim Woody uh, address is 450 Dover in Roselle. Uh, the landlord is here, and I've actually spoke to him about that, and that will be going up. Oh, will be? Could please that, yes. Oh, thank you. That makes me feel better. If I could ask, I'm sorry, the height, or if we could be just so I have some good guidance from the, or 
that's from the village board so the applicant knows what the expectation is so we're clear do you have a, do you have a proposal on the fence or not necessarily this was just something that was brought up actually last week at the okay. original meeting but you know height requirement you're looking as far as uh, you know like a four foot or five foot or the probably four foot four Okay, 42 inches. Is that yeah, just something to designate their per, their particular property. That'd be fine. Okay. Pat, Joanne, is it, is that the same uh, that Jags has? What's the what's their fence? I believe that is 42 is that, inches. Is that 42? Uh, I mean, Chester, my, I'm trying to remember. I think it's five feet. <laughs> so, okay. No. No. Sure. Yeah. 42. So then it's four feet. Stand. Then. Okay, so that would be the 42. Because it from, from it looks tall. Then, Three and a half from the okay. street. Jack says four is three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, it's more than three and a half. The side one is the big one. The front one is low, mm -hmm. and on the side it's a lot bigger, taller. Yeah, I don't recall what Jack says. Okay. So is he gonna cover the whole corner? Just, I mean, how, are you gonna go lent to the to your place? Uh, from the south side of the building. Yes. Okay, thank you. Mike, I mean Bill. <laughs> You'll get it right one of these days. Uh, I would also like to see uh, signage on the fence prohibiting alcohol transportation past the fence. I think that's a state law. No, so no alcohol beyond this point. Correct. Anybody else? No. Yeah. Mayor? Doug, do you have any issues? I agree with everything that was said. Okay. I think I think they need a visual barrier to outline what their where their restaurant is and where their property right. is and I think they need a sign that says no alcohol because there's a parking lot there and there is pedestrian there is traffic back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got one quick question regarding yes, a parking lot. Is there any spaces by your location for handicap parking? There, there are. There are. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, I do have one more question. Oh, Pat. Uh, is that uh, the landlord systems about unauthorized cars going to be told told from the lot or something from from the? Uh, he, oh. Yeah, I please think state that, your name, uh, please. Yeah, go ahead. My name is Harry Ganaris. Um, GS2727 LLC is the owner of the property, and I'm a member of the, the group. Uh, there is signs for the Burger King. They don't pay into the common area. They don't uh, do anything, so we do tow their cars, and we have signs there. Okay, as long as, long as you got the signs up and posted. Signs are up, yes. Okay, that's good for me, then. Okay, thank you. Okay, anybody else? No. No? Nope. Everybody in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. We need a motion to close the public hearing. Mayor? Motion to um, adjourn. Oh adjourn. my gosh. Adjourn. adjourn. You're adjourn. Like me. <laughs> Second. Oh my God! You hanging around with Chester? <laughs> That's for sure. You got to have his vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Public hearing is closed. Committee of the whole is closed. <laughs>